13, 49 degrees, looking to save money as we get closer to the holidays. Yes, well, I sat down and visited with America's cheapest family. They live right here in the Valley? They live in Scottsdale. Can you oh. believe it? I know, and they've been all over the place, so they have some great ideas for us on how to save big bucks. Good deal. We'll yeah. have that for you coming up. Well, they've uh, been dubbed America's cheapest family. And for good reason, the appropriately, appropriately named family of the Economides, that is their real name, oh, hmm. uh, have really? managed to live within their means or below it. Katie, you actually spent the day with them in their valley home. Did you learn how they do it? Uh, well, I did. I mean, they, they have been doing it for years, so it's going to take a little bit of time to implement some of their ideas. But we are going to show you a lot of ways throughout this entire week on how you can save a lot of money. Now, their ideas all come from experience. Experience. When the Economides were first married, they managed to pay off their house in nine years on one income what? of $33,000. And they had five kids while they were doing this. Okay, they saved a lot of money. They said it didn't happen all at once. We weren't really good at this whole frugal thing at first, but after a while it became a game and a really fun game to play and we started seeing success. Okay, and they have ideas on how to save money on gas, your water bill. They say they can cut your grocery bill in half and how to not spend quite as much money during the money-sucking holiday season. Oh, oh. They have a lot of ideas. So coming up at 6.15, we are going to break it down every day, something different. But coming up at 6.15, your utility bill, how can you save money on your utility bill? Does it make them happy to do this? Yes, actually, they are very happy. They said you, you kind of need to change the way that you think. Like when you're giving gifts, money, expensive new gifts, doesn't mean love. So you need to train your kids that, crafts. hey, crafts, or I found this for you. It's not brand new, but I thought you might like it. And I'm still showing you that I love you, but it's just not brand mm. new, and the price tag mm. isn't there. They play board games. They don't go out, they don't go out you know, to, to the, the movies. movies. Um, they go out to eat twice a year, and wow. that's it. Wow. wow. Oh, wow. But they don't clip coupons. They this don't. Was surprising, they say if they see a lot of people, right, do that. And if they see a coupon, you know, they, she does have a box and she keeps them. But she's not the extreme coupon, you know, that we have seen. Mm -hmm. She's not extreme. She says, if I see one, I'll keep it. I'll try to use it. But that's not their main way. Mm. Of, uh, Fascinating. I know. I figure if I can do a couple of their ideas. You'll be doing better. Yes, you'll be doing better. Did you meet their kids at all? I did, and they were. I met one of their uh, children, and she was great. And she's she's in with it. Really? She's, yes. Oh, it's right. fascinating. Money. It's kind of changing the way you think, right? Mm -hmm. It's interesting. You're gonna like it. Six fifteen ish. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, last hour, we introduced you to the America's Cheapest Family. They're well-known across the country, and I was surprised they actually live right here in the Valley. Katie, you spent hours with them to learn how they save hundreds on a weekly basis. Yes, and today we are talking about your utility bill. Families can be spending anywhere during the summer months from $400 to $500. So the father of America's Cheapest Family shows us how you can save. We're talking about saving money. First way to save, according to Steve Economides, is easy. I mean, we'll just start real simple. Mm -hmm. A programmable thermostat. Basically, you can save about 10 or 20% by having this thing think for you. You may need to consult your power company for the off-peak rate plan that works best for your household. Here's another idea that might help. When I did something real crazy, and I combined this with a timer on our system, and that saved us about 25% this summer. Steve also protects his house from the hot rays of the sun. For people who have flat roofs, is make sure your roof is coated. That dropped uh, our utility bill about 10% on a yearly basis by painting it white. We had a beige roof before. Planting shade trees, making sure you have window coverings. And Steve found with five kids, showers, sometimes long showers, added up to a lot of wasted water. Well, so we set a timer, you know, for especially for teens. Yeah. 10 minutes or so, and, and we only had to turn the water off in the house once. And lastly... Look at the height of the water in here. Put a bottle of water in your toilet. It displaces the water, so every flush you're using 32 ounces less, but you still have enough head pressure to, to flush the toilet. The most money America's cheapest family has ever spent on their monthly utility bill? About $290 in the heat of the summer.
What, that is impressive. What temperature, though, do they keep their house at? Did they tell you? They, yes, they said they start at 90. 68. No, I know. When I asked him that, he said 103. Yeah. But he was kidding. They start at 68 degrees, and they cool it off in the morning to 68, and then they let wow. it get warmer throughout the day. So he's saying it just depends on what, if you're home all day, well, you kind of need to fiddle around with it and set your timer, but 68 to start out the day. That's actually not colder bad. than I keep my house. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of setting the timer, I like the idea of setting a timer in the shower because I can just sit there under oh, the water like hmm, me this too is nice it's wasteful it's wasteful and he said that. he got the idea because he was trying to find his son couldn't find him and so he was in the shower knocked on the door nothing knocked on the door. he walked in his son was reading in the shower well, he's like okay that's enough we're putting the timer in 10 minutes you're done mm, okay. reading, reading in the shower eh? <laughs> okay interesting. but you know what with okay. those water tips they save 20 gallons a year that's enough to sw uh, fill up a swimming pool put a water bottle in your toilet put yeah, a no, water bottle. you They're never thought about ideas. that yeah Okay. Pat, you, you gotta link do one of those things, okay? One of those things and I'm report back time. to me. They go out to dinner twice a year. I'm sorry, that sounds... Going you know what my wife would do to me if I told her to have, like, timed her in the shower? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no, Pat. That would not be a happy house. No, it's a personal decision, Pat. <laughs> That's you right. start with you. I'll yeah. start with me. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> okay, you guys. Well...